welcome to Pole Paro. We're um, we're down here during the Christmas period for for four days. I'm staying in a nice little fishing cottage, as you can see behind me. Nice little kitchen. Um, I'm down here to um, I'm going to shoot the Christmas lights um, and some of the harbour as well. Um, general bits and pieces of coastline as well. Been, um, we've been out for a, a walk this morning up on the coast. It's all looking very nice. And um, weather's not too good, but we'll see how it goes. But um, the, the plan is is to uh, is to shoot some stuff um, while I'm down here, especially Christmas lights and some close-up detail pictures. Um, also, while I'm here, I'm um, planning to try try this out. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, mold wine. Uh, this is the, the Canon 100 to 400 lens. Um, this is the newer version 2. Um, as you can see, it's a um, it, slightly different design from the old one. Um, whereas you used to have the push pull barrel on this one, you've now got um, a twist barrel. So you can zoom into to 400, and it's back to 100. Um, you've also got this uh, collar here, which um, you can use to. To tighten the action and that's so the, the lens doesn't slip basically. Um, it's quite handy if you're carrying the lens and rather than that happening you can basically tighten that up and it doesn't drop especially if you're shooting where the lens is is pointing downwards. Um, quite a handy little feature. Um, obviously you've got um, image stabilization as well on this. Uh, I tend to use this on a, on, on a tripod anyway most of the time so um, I haven't as yet um, taking much with this lens, so I'm planning to, to use this while I'm here. Uh, you'll notice it's got the, the collar on this one as well, tripod collar, which saves you having to sort of mess around with the camera, getting it into portrait mode, just undo that one. Um, I will say I've got a um, an Arca Swiss type plate on the bottom of this for my tripod. But it is worth, if you've got a longer lens, it is worth getting one of these um, long lens brackets um, like this. Now these brackets uh, obviously support the front of the lens as well. And when you put it on the tripod it's obviously in, in the centre point of the lens and the camera. So it's kind of balancing up everything. Um, it gives it a lot more stability, especially when it's holding that front end as well. And obviously, it still allows you to, to focus, and um, but just just saves that sort of camera shake. Um, so yeah, I'll be trying this out while I'm here, um, talking you through this while I'm using it as well. Um, put that one to one side. Again, it's got the the lens hood with this, but I, I doubt I'll use this. Um, uh, I've got a, my filter system with me as well if I need to use filters. Before I'm um, accused of being a Scrooge, uh, I've put some Christmas decorations to make it look a bit more festive on the table. Um, that's about as Christmasy as, as this is going to get. Um, also on this uh, this trip I've got my um, what this is filming with. So when it's not um, when it's not vlogging. Um, I use this camera as a, as a as a backup but also like a secondary camera, it's quite handy. So the plan is is to um, to go off tonight and shoot some um, pictures down by the harbour. Uh, I'll um, I'll use this 100 to 400 um, and my my other setup as well to try and get what I can from the. Uh, I mean we're literally just down the down the road from the harbour, so it's um, it's nice and close. Okay, found a great little spot here, looking through to this pub in the background. Um, I'll show you what I've got on the um, on the screen there. I've got the, the 100 to 400 on. Um, it's in at about 200 mil. So. Okay, you can see the pub there in the distance. So if I zoom in on my screen there, nice tight crop at 200 mil. I'm focused in here on the, the pub sign um, on the tripod with a cable release.
changed lenses here, so I'm on a 17 to 40 now. Looking across here, we've got this boat in the foreground, which is in shadow. So I'm using my um, my little torch here, which is a little um, LED lens torch, just to give a blip of light on the boat um, while I'm shooting across this way. I'm on about 30 seconds exposure, ISO 1600, um, but it's uh, it's looking quite nice. Have a look at this. Well, I've got a lovely shot set up here. You can see down through the, the lane here all the lights sort of crisscrossing across the sky. It's quite a nice shot. I'm quite close to this building as well behind me here. I've got the um, 17 to 40 on again. Focused on this part here and I'm waiting for people to sort of wander up and down and sort of just through the right at the end there where it's lit up and wait for them to sort of reach that point and then I'll take a shot. Um, the sky's a little bit dark at the moment, gone past the sort of blue hour. Um, ideally you want to sort of shoot um, about half an hour after sunset, that's when you want to start. You get normally about an hour of, of nice deep blue light, but it's gone quite dark now. So I'm going to revisit this again tomorrow night. Um, but it's great, got some shots in the bag, so all's good. Mm -hmm. 